Some people think that gender is equated with sex. Others think that gender is a matter of performance. So between that extreme biological essentialism and extreme social con constructivism, how do you, as a gender expert, integrate gender in your development work? I'm going to give you an important tip. There are three core aspects in gender and development theory. The first thing is who does what and where. The second thing is who owns what or who has what. And the third thing is who has power over whom or what. Let me explain these things to you one by one. When we talk about who does what, we are thinking about labor, work, and you would know that gender roles are very different in almost all societies in the world. So we are talking about productive work or reproductive work. We are talking about paid work and unpaid work. So as a development expert, you are looking at these things. But you are also looking at who has what, which is the second point. You are looking at who owns the natural resources, who owns the water body, who owns the forest, who uses these resources. Some people own them, some people have just user rights over these resources. And then you are looking at the third thing. Who has power over the other? Now many people think of power as a physical expression or a thing, but power is something that cannot be expressed as a thing. Power is authority. Power is the authority to make decisions. Power is control and it could be an influence. I can give you one example. Early on in my life, I read a book and that book was Virginia Woolf's A Room of One's Own. And that book has left a lasting influence over me. You could say that the book overpowered me, right? But then, let us step back and think about these three things. You would see that all of these three things are relational. I'll give you another example. I have to have power over something. I can stand on the road and I can act like a traffic police. I can say stop, but the traffic won't stop. I don't have the authority. I'm trying to exert my power over the flowing traffic, but it's not listening to me. So power can be exerted only over others. Similarly, when we think about who does what, we think about in relational terms. We think about what do men do, what do women do in a family, in a village, in a community. People have thought about these things in different ways. Marx explained that power varies according to class. Some feminists thought that power varies according to patriarchy. It's determined by patriarchy. 
We gender and development specialists, we know that neither of these are true. We believe that they depend on a lot of things, depend on our sex, on our age, on our race, and on our ability to do things. So armed with this knowledge, I invite you, my students, to go out in the field and be the gender and development expert that, every, that entire world will envy. <laughs>